Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. So here we have a general message for your sign. You guys know, of course, that this may or it may not resonate with every single one of you, okay? And also the energy can be interchangeable. It could be the other person or yourself. Just take it how it fits, okay? So um, up here at the top, we've got your Oracle messages. Over here on the left, we have your energy Aries. Here in the center, we have your partner or, you know, whoever it is that you're connected to. And then on the right, we have some near future potential outcome energy okay so where things might be headed here soon as well as some advice messages down here at the bottom okay so let's get going we'll talk about your oracles first really quickly and then we'll get into the actual message all right so coming out first here we have passion and it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so some of you whether this is about someone that you're currently dealing with or an ex or whatever there is a lot of passion and chemistry and attraction here between you and this person okay maybe even a telepathic bond here um, but however, next we have the separation and it says time apart from your partners on the horizon. So some of you, you're already separated from them. Maybe you guys haven't talked in a while or somebody could have, you know, kind of fallen back from this connection or ghosted the situation. Okay. Others of you, even if you are talking to them or, you know, you guys are kind of um, dealing with each other consistently, somebody here could just be kind of pulling back again, like I said, but it may not necessarily mean a permanent ending. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Now, next, we also have express your love and it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah. So somebody still has feelings. Okay. And somebody is still invested in this and wants to uh, come towards this connection still. All right. Now let's start with your energy first Aries. You guys have the nine of Pentacles and the emperor. You guys are looking pretty good here. This is all about confidence. Both of those energies represent that. Okay. Maintaining your cool. Some of you, you do want them. You do, um, you know, have an interest here, but I don't see you overexerting yourself, um, you know, towards this person or, you know, uh, being too needy or coming off in a desperate manner at all you know you got it going on okay <laughs> and you have um a lot to offer you are um you know really in a high vibration here for some of you all right the nine of pentacles is all about independence and again confidence and so is the emperor there okay some of you might be dealing with another aries um but yeah so i see you guys looking pretty good here and um you know maybe kind of waiting is also what i'm picking up to see what this person's going to do or if they're going to actually take some action towards you okay so next uh your partner here they have the world card and the high priestess some of you they may be at a distance from you maybe in a different city state country um that's only for some um, but this can represent wanting to start over a second chance, starting, you know, a new cycle here. And I think that they could be hiding this from you. OK, they're not really, um, you know, being very talkative here or telling you how they feel. OK, the high priestess can represent silence or again, withdrawal. Somebody could have kind of fallen back or they may actually be doing the silent treatment, too. OK, if it's not them, then it could be you, Aries. But I do think that they still care and they want to um you know engage with you here but they're just not saying it all right now um you guys have the queen of wands and the star card some of you could be dealing with an aquarius you guys are attracted to them okay but you also know that you're attractive all right with the queen of wands this represents passion chemistry attraction confidence okay someone who's sexy and um you know again uh, knows their worth here, especially with these energies up here. So you guys know that you could have this person or somebody else if you wanted to, okay, for some of you. But you do still have faith in it. You're hoping that things could work out here still, okay, with the um, star card energy. And, um, you know, maybe hoping that they'll come around or that you guys can get this going again with a new cycle here for those of you that have been away from them for a while. All right, now um, they have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. So some of you may uh, be married to this person or you guys may be married to other people. That's what the Ten of Cups can signify, okay, a marriage or a long-term commitment. It could also be about family. There may also be children involved here with the Page of Cups, but I think they do want to come forward and offer you something, okay? If they um, did something to bother you or hurt you here, they may be sorry as well. That's what the Page of Cups can signify too, some sort of um, apologetic energy, all right? But they do have feelings here, okay? Uh, we got... Um, you know, a lot of water energy here, which we know the water represents feelings and emotions. All right, guys. Now, you guys also have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups as well. So both of you have the Page of Cups. Okay, some of you, there's definitely a child involved in this situation, but you guys are standing uh, pretty strong here with the King of Pentacles. Some of you, you do still want to give to this connection, okay, but you want things to be more solid. You know your worth, okay, um, Aries with the King of Pentacles, and you're willing to 
um, maybe go towards them or you're waiting for them to come towards you because you've got feelings for them as well. Okay, I really pick up a lot of mutual energy here. You guys mirroring each other and um, pretty much feeling the same way. Okay, whether they've said it or not. Again, I mentioned that they're being kind of quiet here or they may not feel comfortable opening up completely. All right, now they also have the Ace of Cups and the um, Strength card. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, okay? So this can um, signify somebody being in love or wanting a new start here. Some of you, this may be somebody completely new, okay? This may not be about anyone from the past, but whoever this is, this person is working on their confidence here, okay? And their courage maybe to come towards you with that uh, strength card there. Um, they may also have had some sort of health issues as well now that they're, you know, trying to overcome. You guys also have the Page of Wands and the World card here, okay? So some of you, yeah, you do want to talk to them, okay? Um, you're attracted to them here and you're willing to start something new, all right? And again, with the World card, both of you have it here. So I think that uh, those of you that may be separated from them, I think both of you miss each other, okay? Like I said, I think there's a lot of mutual energy here. And, um, you know, somebody here needs to take action, but I don't know if that's going to happen, guys, at least not at this time, because this person here has a hangman and the four of swords. So some of you might be dealing with the Pisces here, but the hangman is about inaction. OK, somebody not coming towards a situation or a person here. OK, they're just kind of stuck in limbo. Somebody may have got left hanging as well or ghosted, like I mentioned before. Okay, so yeah, I don't really see them um, getting up coming towards you yet because again, with the Four of Swords, this is about falling back, retreating, you know, and uh, resting or, you know, just kind of taking a break. So I don't think it's completely over. All right, now um, let's talk about where things might be headed here soon over here on the right. So we've got the Hermit Reverse. This card decided it wanted to come out reversed here. Most of the cards, well, actually all of them are already in the upright. That's how I shuffle and uh, read here but this one is just reversed okay sometimes that happens all right cars just you know flip around or whatever they do but anyway um some of you might be doing uh dealing with a virgo here okay so the hermit in the upright does represent isolation okay someone um kind of being solo on their own or really silent withdrawn okay pulling back and maybe even disappearing okay so somebody could have left but with this being reversed, this means somebody wants to come out of that energy and come back towards this connection, like I said before, okay? But um, with the Eight of Swords being next here, this is someone being kind of stuck in their head a little bit, okay? Overthinking or feeling restricted or trapped or just unable to do something, okay? So somebody here isn't quite ready yet. It might be you, Aries, or them. Um, however, somebody's still holding on, okay? We have the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Cups has shown up again, okay? He came out here three times on the spread. All right. So, um, yeah, there are feelings here and somebody wants to hold on to this yet is not willing to fully open up. Okay. So somebody doesn't feel comfortable being vulnerable is uh, what I'm seeing. All right. Now, next, we also have the Knight of Wands and the uh, Queen of Swords. Something could be getting cut out here or somebody um, could be speaking a, a very direct or harsh truth. Okay. But um, you know, I see somebody coming towards this connection wanting to take action here because there's still passion and um, maybe being met with some sort of resistance. OK, now we also have the uh, three of swords and the four of swords again. So three of swords is about pain, heartbreak. OK, disappointment could be a third party situation as well. Um, but I don't see it being really heavy energy here. OK, guys, I don't pick up a lot of um, bad energy from this reading at all or a lot of negativity. I just think that. Um, somebody's feelings may be a little bit hurt here, okay, or um, again, disappointed, but I don't think that energy is going to last very long because somebody's just going to recover, okay, from whatever this is, all right, because the four swords, like I mentioned before, can represent recovering, overcoming something, or just kind of falling back, taking a break from it. So again, I don't think this is completely over with you and this person, and uh, let's talk about your advice messages really quickly before I close this out, guys. These down here may pertain to this situation, or maybe about something else in your life, just uh, take it how it fits, okay? So first here we have don't back down and it says stand up for what you believe is right. So whatever that means for you, okay? It could be um, some of you may have a guard up. You may feel like you need to protect your energy or your peace of mind or yourself from this person. Others of you may still wanna fight for this connection, okay? Or this could be about work or family or whatever it is you feel you need to not back down from, all right? Now, next we also have guiding children. 
And it says that you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Yeah, like I mentioned before, because the Page of Cups came out several times here. And again, that represents kids. Okay, the pages do. So some of you, this may, um, you know, it may be a child involved in this situation. Or some of you may counsel kids or you're a teacher. Something of uh, that nature here, okay? We also have unconditional love. And it says, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances are may be okay so overall Aries I think this is a pretty good reading probably one of the best ones I've seen for you guys in a couple of weeks okay so if this resonated um feel free to get in the comments and uh like share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and be sure to hit that bell notification as well okay so you're aware when I um upload new content okay thank you guys so much for tuning in and I wish you best take care